Have you ever wondered what happens when the FDA or FSIS realizes that food may be potentially adulterated, misbranded, or cause adverse health effects once it is placed into the marketplace? This is a great question. Many foods are distributed from the processing facility to grocery outlets within a matter of days or even hours. The purpose of this video is to draw your attention to regulatory recall authorities. The specific learning outcomes are that you will be able to describe the FSIS's recall authority, describe the recall authority of the FDA prior to the Food Safety Modernization Act of 2011, and explain how the Food Safety Modernization Act changed FDA's recall authority. Finally, you'll be able to identify where to find additional information on recalls from the FDA and FSIS. A recall is a firm's action to remove product from commerce to protect the public from consuming adulterated or misbranded products. This firm could be a manufacturer, distributor, or importer. If a firm is regulated by FSIS, it is that firm's decision to recall a product, as the FSIS cannot mandate this. The FSIS, however, coordinates with the firm to ensure it has properly identified and removed recalled product from commerce by verifying the effectiveness of the firm's recall activities. FSIS also notifies the public about product recalls. When FSIS learns of a potential recall, it convenes a recall committee, which makes recommendations based on information such as pertinent production and distribution data provided by the company. Once the company initiates a product recall, FSIS immediately issues a press release to notify the public, posts this on its website, and provides information directly to stakeholders, including Congress, federal, state, and local officials, the media, and its constituents. At the conclusion of the recall, FSIS conducts an effectiveness check to determine whether all appropriate parties were properly notified and all reasonable efforts to retrieve, destroy, and return the recalled product to the firm. Prior to the Food Safety Modernization Act of 2011, the FDA functioned just about the same as FSIS in terms of its recall authority. The FDA generally had to rely upon manufacturers' voluntary recall efforts or obtain a court order to remove contaminated or misbranded foods from the food supply. In the wake of a number of large-scale food contamination outbreaks and recalls, on January 4th of 2011, Congress enacted the Food Safety Modernization Act. Section 206 significantly expanded the FDA's enforcement powers over potentially dangerous foods. Under the new law, FDA now has authority to order the mandatory recall of foods for which there is a reasonable probability that the articles are adulterated or misbranded, and the use or exposure to such articles will cause adverse health consequences or death to humans or animals. In order to issue such a mandatory recall, the FDA must first provide the responsible party with the opportunity to initiate a voluntary recall. If the party does not discontinue distribution and initiate the recall, the Secretary of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services is empowered to order that distribution stop and require a recall. Should the Secretary order a recall, the responsible party has the opportunity to, to request a hearing within two days to contest the order and convince the FDA that the product should not be recalled. The FDA was first put to test on this when it was noticed that salmonella was present on dog food that was in the marketplace. This was noticed in September of 2012. In this case, the FDA did not flex its mandatory recall authority because a month later the firm issued a recall. However, in February of the next year, 2013, the FDA published the non-compliance record records that were obtained from this company. In summary, from time to time foods need to be recalled from the marketplace as they are potentially adulterated or misbranded. The FSIS may not mandate recalls, however, it is intimately involved in the process as firms issue voluntary recalls. On the other hand, since the Food Safety Modernization Act of 2011 was passed, the FDA may mandate recalls. However, part of this process requires that the firms are first given an opportunity to issue a voluntary recall. 
For more information, consult these references. Section 206 of the Food Safety Modernization Act, FSIS Directive 8080, and the FDA and FSIS's websites.